xum anh chơi ông cứ ông cái đồ nhựa bọc cả mặt to cái đầm lá cà để tiệm bị thi sạm lá cà bị phía xa đánh đau lờ sạ xây nẹ để rồi thì mình chỉ vứt vì mình ti sản xuất so một phần mùi trên đầm bông này làm gì làng rì ca ông bị thành lập hiệp vật miền nâng ảnh vật đầm miền phía kỳ nâng bọc cùl đài trời ảnh chơi chỗ rùm nông cạch đầm nà ca đi tệ vị thi vị phía xa đánh đau nơi ngày đi Sông cổ lộc thiên phía kỳ đài trời chỗ rùm nông cạch đầm nà ca nơi tệ vị thi xạm nà ca nông ngày đi miền vật đầm miền cực chẳng nguồn chúng này ai xả xây đại trai mặc đồ sạ cây cam nó không bật nhiệt đái có miên vật miên đái nhưng mà anh tôi bình định anh ta sinh nhà đã bỏ sạ xây rồi hái cứ còn mình miên chấm nóng lơ hết chìm môi nâng chôn chọt cháo rồi có phía kia nệ đoạt bảo vệ nhiệt tề sạ xây bán thuê cao bắt rồi hái môn trì tôi là cá nôm chơi sạ xây nông chăn phao cho một căn một tụ xã mạc ca Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, Council. If I could just raise two brief matters before the witness comes into the courtroom, as it relates to his testimony this morning. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Thank
where the witness was in fact not a witness but applying to be a civil party. At that stage it was thought not appropriate to provide the statement because the statement we felt would come up through the normal course of the civil party application. However, um, as your honours are aware, that civil party application was refused and in March, sometime later in March, he was placed on the witness list. At that time, your honours, it's the prosecutor's submission that the statement should have been provided by the prosecution but because of the disconnect between his civil party application and him granting status or witness, that connection was not made and the provision of the statement was overlooked. However, yesterday, once it was discovered in preparation of this witness that, that statement was not provided, it was immediately provided uh, to the parties um, the fastest way possible via the email. Having said that, Your Honour, it was not the intention yesterday to place it on the case file, but for uh, clarity, uh, this morning we have uh, filed a motion to place that statement and the translation on the case file. Your Honour, in relation to whether or not the statement is placed on the case file, we're in Your Honour's hands. The most important thing for the prosecution is that the prosecution is not in possession of a statement that the trial chamber does not have, nor the parties. And so it's thought appropriate that the statement be provided to the chamber and the parties. As to the um, legal weight of the statement, the prosecution is making no application at the moment to put it forward under 87.3, simply to place it on the case file. And in any event, if it's not placed on the case file, um, it's deemed important and proper that that statement be provided to all parties to assist them in their questioning. Today. Your Honour, the, the second matter is in relation to the authentication of the two Vietnamese videos, and they are E510 and XA, ERN number V00271181, and it's a clip of 7 minutes and 35 seconds, and E5-10 and XA V00271182, and it's a clip of 4 minutes and 1 second, the most relevant part being from uh, the beginning to 1 minute and 36. Firstly, Your Honours, uh, most importantly, we would like to make it clear that we, we stress we're not asking for a decision on whether or not this, these video clips would be considered evidence under Rule 87.3 and Your Honours can rely uh, on those uh, clips in the judgment. That's not the purpose of the application this morning. We've heard Your Honours on this matter and you've made it very clear to us that you will decide on the, uh, whether or not it will be viewed as evidence under 87.3 in due course you know, throughout the proceedings. But what we are asking this morning, Your Honours, is that the video clips be shown to the witness to assist the Chamber in determining whether or not it's authentic. As Your Honours are well aware, the defence have made claims that somehow or another it's a video that uh, has been orchestrated as a false video. It doesn't purport to be uh, what um, the prosecution um, says, says it does. As your honours know, this witness is a child prisoner. He left S21 on the day the Vietnamese came into S21. He was there for the last couple of months. And he is believed, this particular witness, is believed to be on the video. Uh, uh, From his expected testimony provided by the civil parties in Group 1, he will be able to assist the Chamber in determining the authenticity of this video, As particularly when you look at the summary of the statement made by the civil parties in their application uh, early in uh, February or March where it states that on the day that the Vietnamese came into S21, he made concerted efforts 
to look for his mother and he went throughout the S21 premises and in that process he saw sites in relation to dead bodies that were um, in rooms there. That's exactly what the video reports to show. So this witness is in a very unique position, Your Honours, to provide authentication of it. He is the best witness, Your Honours, to be able to identify whether he appears in the video or not. Your Honours, we submit that it's a very unique opportunity today to be able to authenticate the video to help Your Honours in the decision-making process. And we ask that this opportunity not be lost, as this possibly and most probably is the best witness to provide at this trial to provide the, provide the evidence as whether or not it's a authentic and accurate video that has been put forward uh, by the prosecution. So there are my brief submissions, Your Honours, if you have any questions other than that. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je souhaiterais effectivement pouvoir obtenir des précisions sur les requêtes qui viennent d'être formulées par les coprocureurs. S'agissant tout d'abord du document dont il est demandé, le... Alors, je ne sais pas s'il est demandé à ce qu'il soit versé au dossier ou produit au débat, ce qui me semble-t-il n'est pas tout à fait la même chose, mais je crois comprendre que l'objectif est qu'il soit utilisé. Donc, je comprends que c'est une demande de versement au débat et non pas simplement au dossier. Est-ce que c'est bien l'intention des coprocureurs, que ce document soit versé au débat et pas simplement au dossier Your Honor, we, are, we would be happy that the uh, statement be included in the proceedings. However, the most important aspect is that it be provided to all the parties. But yes, our application is that uh, it be included in the proceedings. Si j'ai bien également entendu euh, ce qui a été dit ce matin, cette demande est fondée sur la règle 87.4 du règlement intérieur. Et c'est exact. Your Honor, the, the application that's in, in writing is just to place the statement on the case file. Um, we would be happy if it's taken to a, into account as evidence under Rule 87.3, but the most important thing for the prosecution is that it's made available to the parties to assist them in questioning. Si je comprends bien, on a une demande à double détente, à double demande. Une première demande pour que la pièce soit versée au dossier et une autre demande pour que éventuellement elle puisse être versée au débat et utilisée devant la chambre et discutée devant la chambre. Alors, si j'ai bien compris également, il s'agit d'un entretien qui a été réalisé par euh, l'organisation non gouvernementale d'ICICAM. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire la date exacte à laquelle cet entretien a été réalisé That's correct, Your Honours. The interview was conducted on the 13th of February this year. Donc, 
Depuis le 13 février 2009, l'entretien dont je suppose qu'il a eu lieu en cambodgien, en Khmer, est disponible. Il existe depuis cette date. Mon autre une version en a été versée au dossier ou est-ce que n'existe à ce jour aucune version de ce document, ni en Khmer, ni en anglais dans le dossier Le document de la langue 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 de The Khmer was not placed on the case file, and the reason being that at that stage it was a civil party application, and it was thought at that stage not appropriate to place it on the case file, as it was felt that statement would end up on the case file through that civil party application. However, that did not happen. Once it was discovered, that, uh, once it was decided by the trial chamber to reject the civil party application, and the, the applicant became a witness, the connection between the statement and his testimony in court was not made at that point, and it was discovered yesterday that the statement wasn't disclosed to the case file, and the most important, important thing for the prosecution was that it was provided to the chamber and the parties so that they have all available information to them. La seule chose que je souhaite clarifier à ce stade, c'est pour quelle raison le document qui a priori était disponible en Khmer n'a pas été versé jusqu'à maintenant Sachant que effectivement, il y a bien eu une demande d'abord de pension de partie civile du témoin qui, me semble-t-il, n'a pas été acceptée parce qu'elle était tardive. Il y a eu ensuite une demande de la part d'un groupe de partis civils pour que cette personne soit entendue en tant que témoin, mais à aucun de ces stades, il n'a été versé au dossier la version Khmer de cet entretien. Je crois que votre micro n'était pas allumé et donc on ne l'a pas entendu dans les cabines. Alors, il est certain que il y a un problème concernant donc euh, le caractère éventuellement tardif hein, de la production de, de ce document et on obtiendra éventuellement la défense de faire des observations à ce niveau-là. Concernant le, les extraits vidéo, je ne comprends pas très bien votre enquête. Vous ne demandez pas à ce qu'on statue sur, euh, actuellement et pendant la question de savoir si on doit admettre ce document pour qu'il soit versé au débat, puisqu'il a déjà été admis comme un nouveau document. Ce problème, c'est savoir s'il si peut être versé au débat. Et vous demandez à ce que ce document puisse être projeté pour que le témoin puisse nous dire s'il est authentique ou pas. Mais vous souhaitez que cette projection ait lieu au cours des débats, qu'elle ait lieu en dehors, en, en dehors, je ne comprends pas très bien. Your Honor, I'm asking that the video be played during the proceedings so that this witness, who is the best witness to be able to authenticate the video, can provide his opinion to this chamber as to whether or not it has a certain level of reliability as contested by the defence. With that knowledge, with that opinion, now your honours may accept or reject.
project in relation to this, this witness's opinion and others, then I would submit that Your Honours would be in a far better position to determine whether or not the video is, or the video is authentic. It's our respectful submission that the only issue here is, is whether or not the video can be relied, or relied upon by Your Honours in the judgment under 87.3. And to come to that determination, we will submit that it's important that Your Honours have the best opinions, the best evidence on the authenticity of the video to come to that determination. Without that, we would submit that it would be difficult to come to that decision. The public showing of the, of the video, in, in many respects, I would submit, is not so much the issue. It's the legal issue as to whether or not it can be relied on under 87.3. And to get to that point, we would submit it would be useful, very useful, to ask this opinion who is in the video whether or not it's an accurate depiction of what he saw when he was there in the Vietnamese camp to S21. Merci, Monsieur le Procureur, pour ces précisions. Thank you, Mr. President. Just one matter, Mr. Smith, in relation to the video. Uh, you are suggesting that this witness may well be in a position to authenticate it, and you are suggesting that it be shown in public. Would there not be a difficulty in showing it in public? If it transpires that there are some doubts about its authenticity after the witness has viewed it. Thank you, Your Honour. We're in Your Honour's hands as to whether or not it should be shown in public or in closed session. In terms of as a legal issue, um, it's respectfully submitted that uh, this is part of the normal court process of decision-making and transparency that uh, it's appropriate that uh, as much of this trial be public. However, we're in Your Honour's hands whether it be in closed session or public session. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, parties. I just want to, because we are implicated, as you know, because we are the one who initially requested for this, for this um, now witness to be at the time of civil parties. I just wanted to say that everything Mr. Smith says is absolutely correct. Um, and I just want to, um, to um, bring one precision, because maybe there are some doubts now about this, um, um, this statement. Um, just for the, for the record, to be clear, um, indeed on 4 February 2009, that the time where, when this witness went to victims' units um, and tried, attempted to file an application, and he was told at the time it was too late, um, and then on the 16 of February, it was over the weekend, you will remember it was before the initial hearing, or maybe on the Monday, he signed the power of uh, attorneys instructing my lead counsel, Karim Khan, and ourselves, and that is uh, the time where, indeed, we filed um, a, re a request to your um, Mr. President. Uh, to extend the deadline uh, two days and for this um, now witness to be a civil party and as you Mr. Smith absolutely rightly stated it was rejected. Now I just want to make clear that because this initial hearing was on 17 and it was a very very busy time I think there was some lack of communication between our group and DC CAM and I was not aware that this statement had been taken on the 
13 of February uh, um, 2009, I did not know, and uh, as everybody else, I discovered yesterday that there had been a statement. Um, so I just want to make that clear um, on the record that we are in the same position that everybody else, and I read myself the statement last night. I would like to say something, just something else for the record to be clear. Instructed by my, my lead counsel, Karim Khan, we decided once you rendered your decision on the 10th of April 2009 and you decided you admitted this uh, Lord Champal as a witness, from that time we decided that it would not be proper for us to talk to Lord Champal because he was not a civil party but he was a witness. So since that time we have not been talking um, to uh, Lord Champal. Uh, I did not see him uh, in the last days or nothing, so we have decided that because he's, he's, he's uh, the court's witness now and not a civil party, then we should refrain from talking to him, and I just wanted to make that clear on the record. Thank you. Thank you. ចំពោះកិច្ចសំភារបស់លោកនងចាន់ផលដែលសហព្រិយញ្ញាមានបំណងនិងដាក់នៅពេលនេះមេធាវីការពារក្តីយល់ថាមិនអាចដាក់ន
Monsieur le Président, euh, bonjour. Messieurs, Mesdames les juges, bonjour. Euh, je voudrais faire une brève observation sur ce point. Je crois que ce document vidéo circule, euh, je dirais même librement et publiquement. Et je pense qu'à ce point, il serait quand même important que ce document soit soumis aux témoins pour qu'une observation euh, réelle puisse être faite sur ce document, qui sera accepté ou non accepté, mais qu'on sorte euh, d'un flou qui, à mon avis, ne dessert pas la, la manière dont le, le, la, dont le public peut ressentir l'examen de certains documents. Ces documents circulent, je crois qu'à un moment donné, il, il me semble opportun qu'ils soient soumis aux, aux témoins qui en est le sujet, qui pourra donner un accord ou au contraire donner un désaccord et également ce sera un élément complémentaire à l'information euh, pour l'ensemble des participants à cette euh, juridiction. Euh, en ce qui concerne euh, le, le texte de l'interview, nous n'avons aussi eu connaissance qu'extrêmement tardivement. Euh, les questions orales peuvent pallier à la production de ce document, mais qui sinon effectivement constitue un retour de mon travail important. Ce qui est regrettable, c'est qu'il était été communiqué euh, aussi tardivement et en particulier euh, en Merci, Ms. Jacquin, I th thought you uh, said Jacquin, only in English. It's uh, also in Khmer, uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, Jacquin, is that not the position? Madame euh, Président, nous n'avons pas eu l'information de la communication euh, sur le document euh, Khmer, mais euh, c'est vrai que le Khmer nous a une difficile euh, langue, une difficile d'accès, euh, et donc euh, nous n'avons pas eu l'exemplaire euh, en langue anglaise qui est très, très euh, tardive. Euh, well, as you know, the filing rules require two languages, one of which should be Khmer, so it, it has been complied with, although it is unfortunate that the third language which is not available. ແລະនេះអង្គជំរះបានដាប់នៅការស្នើសុំរបស់តំណាងសហប្រជាជាតិលើបញ្ហាពីរទី <coughs> ខ្ញុំភ្ញាក់ឆ្នាំ <coughs> Dans 
มตวีกาปีขดได้ให้เดชาปัญญาในเมียนเพียบสมานในคางเพลชบับจังอองยิมเรียกาสมระสายสัปรามนิมนุษย์ดับใบถอยตะปิจานะดับใบสมรัยหรือปัญญาสนาสมนิได้ไล่ก็สมบัญญัติพองได้ท่าสมบัติตัวดับพวสะใจลงจังพอลได้กาอาคารเหมือนบานเอาลูกถือกาพอดอลสักใครกำพลิมพลิมตามกาลปฏิชัยตามปีเวลีได้บานกรุงตุกได้เมียนไฮพอลในปัญญาเฉพาะมันเหมือนได้สาเหตุเพราะในบกุลระบบลูกนองจันพอลตัวที่ยังสมอัตมุตยังสมมาเสียใจยังเอาอย่างเดียวประกาศสำหรับสายสัปรามมนุษย์สมอคุณลูกปฏิญสมอัญญาจุมเรียบจูนสมอัจเจไรสมก่อนจูนจีอยู่บอลมุ้ยพิกีคางดาวมันดังรัฐบวินีบานมีนภาษาไทยเอาไปจังใส่วิดีโอปีชุดหนึ่งตื้อปีปูนงจันพอลมาดาวไล่สูงหนึ่งกี่ปีเชียจ้องกาปีมุนเนาะมุ่งไงนั่งอ่ะปิมสมัยปิมไงมุ่งเดียดเนาะได้เปรียบเรียบอย่างนี้บานสมสนาเป็นจังไซวีเดียวเนาะตาเมียนนงจันพอลเนินนั่งเนี่ยอันเมียนดิอาการไงมุ่งนั่งอ่ะดูเช่นนี้ขยมยัวท่าจำไงกระไรจำไปจังตัวก็บานได้ให้ไปจังบานนงจันพอลเมาก่อนเมียนรถเตยนะเนินนั่งท่าจึงก่อนเมาลองเตี้ยตัวก่อนเมาเจ้าตัวนั่งจีอยู่บอลบอกขยมสมจุนเป็นนั่งสมอคุณลูกเทียนมิสเตอร์พรีสิเดนท์ถ้าคุณอยากจะรู้ว่าอะไรคือการที่ผู้ชายของคุณเป็นคนที่ถูกกล่าวหาว่าเป็นคนที่ถูกกล่าวหาว